So in this lecture, we will see how we can use the auth token and get the user from there instead of taking the user ID in the body. So we need to make a couple of changes here. So first in the schema, we have to remove this. And then in the users, uh, we can remove this as well. We don't need this. Now in the routes, since like we have used this auth middleware, obviously we will not be using any admin middleware here so it's wrong so let's remove this so since we are using auth middleware we are like sure that uh, we will get the user in the request dot body so what you say that request dot body dot user dot id now let's give it a try and see if it's working or not so let's try to do this again so we will remove this user ID from here and see something went wrong okay so let's try to debug that there is no error object as such okay makes sense so what we can do is instead of this Okay, so it's not request.body, it's request.user.id. So it was my bad. So let's hit send now. Now you can see that it's working. So that was the issue. It's not request.body.user, it's simply request.user. So it's working fine. Now uh, you can see how we can use the token to get the current logged in user. We can remove all these unused imports. Now let's go ahead and finish all these three routes. These are two routes, sorry. So for the delete, we will wrap it inside try catch uh, because address may or may not exist. So we will say throw new not found exception and we will say address not found and in the error code we need to add one. So we will say for all user related things we are using one so we can say address not found and it should be 1004 go into the users you will say error code dot user sorry address not found so it's fine now and why is it giving an error I'm not sure. Okay, so it was an import error. And apart from this, we will say await prisma client dot address dot delete and inside delete we will say where id is equal to request dot params dot id. And we have to type cast this to int and once it's success, you can say response dot json and we'll say success colon true. You can simply send the status code. It's not necessary to send the body in every uh, response. So you simply you can say re response dot status 200. So that will also work fine. And in the list address, uh, it's pretty straightforward. We don't need to have pagination here because hardly any users add a uh, five or more address. So that's why, so we can simply say const addresses equal to await prisma dot address dot find many. And inside find many, we will say where user id is request dot user dot id and we'll say response dot json and we can say that addresses so this is how every route works so i guess you have an idea of how these things work now now in the next lecture in the user schema, we will have two more fields to store the default shipping address and default billing address because in multiple e-commerce application, you have seen that you have certain default addresses stored there. So we will design that functionality. And apart from that, we will see how update user and all these things work. 
So see you in the next lecture.